How's it going guys? Sharblox here. I don't know if you guys remember four days ago, but I uploaded a video called Hacker Finds Way to Change Avatar into Any Picture. And in that video, it was about this hacker that managed to use some type of XML exploit over on the Roblox website to change his Roblox avatar into a custom picture. Now, he didn't exactly use the most appropriate picture, which is why I had to censor it in my previous video, but we believe he used some type of t-shirt exploit in order to get this to work. So like I was saying, guys that was about four days ago now and many more people are suddenly realizing how to do this so just today i believe there was about three other roblox players which also did this t-shirt exploit maybe it was the same guy honestly i don't know but they all had insane looking roblox characters shout out to zach prime over on twitter this was the guy that first notified me about this and he said sharp blocks i found out they can change their avatar into an among us avatar and profile image here's my screenshot and here are the links. So Zach provided me with these screenshots. We can see we've got this guy called PopBob256, which has a Jigglypuff profile picture. And that looks like the Jigglypuff mesh from the Smash Bros. Melee game over on the GameCube. So what the heck? How did someone get that as their profile picture? I guess it's due to this XML exploit. And then this guy called Fountain Likes had an Among Us avatar, but this doesn't look like a picture. This looks like a 3D mesh. How did he turn his Roblox avatar into a 3D mesh? Now, I will get onto that in a second. And here is a close-up screenshot of his Among Us character. As you can see, it doesn't really look like an image. It looks like a 3D mesh. I know some of you watching right now probably don't believe this. So here is a tweet from Dusk. He said, Mum, come pick me up. I'm scared. And as we can see, Fountain Likes' his profile is clearly the Among Us character. And like I said, guys, it doesn't look like a picture. It looks like a mesh. 4 underscore YT sent a picture of Pop Bob's profile. And as we can see, he has the Jigglypuff character. Now, this one does look like a picture rather than a mesh because it does have a background to it. And then Zed Sonal posted this on Twitter and we can see it's someone called Feeling Like a Boss and they have some random guy's face as his Roblox avatar. What the hell? So now let's go onto the Roblox website and let's try and figure out how these people managed to get these glitch looking avatars. So here is the first guy who is called Fountain Likes. And as we can see, Roblox have fixed his character. So he is no longer wearing this like Among Us mesh type character. His avatar has been reset back to his noob character. However, I also noticed that his t-shirt is no longer equipped and apparently this t-shirt is how he did the glitch in the first place. So if we scroll down, we go into his t-shirts, we can see he has got something called YA or YA, however you pronounce it, I guess. Now when you wear this, it doesn't exactly look that glitched. You know, it just looks like a normal Roblox t-shirt, but look at the description of this t-shirt. It says among us.rbxmx. Now, an RBXM is a type of Roblox mesh file. I don't know why this one has an extra letter X at the end, but I guess it still worked. So um, yeah, there you go. Fountain Likes also has the other players on his friends list, which might mean they're friends or the same guy. Honestly, I don't know, but we've got Feeling Like a Boss that had the face profile picture. And we've also got PopBob256. Over on PopBob's profile, if we scroll down and have a look at his t-shirts, um, we've actually got this one. So this one's called Yee, so I guess it's the same guy, but this one is called Thumbnail Configuration. So this was the guy that had the Jigglypuff picture. And on Feeling Like a Boss, this guy is still wearing the t-shirt, so I believe he is wearing the one which was hacked. I guess we can check quickly. Okay, so this guy's inventory is private, so we can't actually see, but I believe it was this t-shirt right here, which is called Hey, and the description just says t-shirt so this one's a bit strange i guess they changed it so that is all of the information i have so far these three hackers were able to use hacked roblox t-shirts in order to become custom roblox characters over on their profiles some of you might be wondering what happens if they join a game now i believe it just goes back to their original character i believe that the custom avatars they had over on their profiles won't exactly show up in games they're just for profiles only but honestly i would like to see what happened that guy was actually playing a game I guess we could join him. He is playing a game called Champions Road. I just want to check this isn't some dodgy hackers game. Okay, so this does look legit. 40,000 visits. Should we just join him and see? I doubt he has an Among Us character, uh, but I guess we can find out. I'm inside of the game right now, and I found the guy, Fountain Likes, but his profile, it's just
just normal. Like, even if I do examine Avatar, we can see it's not the Among Us character anymore. But I guess he's not wearing the t-shirt. And even if he was inside of the game, we would not be able to see the Among Us character. I don't know what this game is. It's like some obby thing, which is impossible. Like how, there's no way you can make that jump. Surely not. I just want to try this quickly. I know this is a bit off topic for the video, but how are you supposed to make that? What the hell? Nah, this game doesn't make any sense. Oh well, I guess that's pretty much it. I was actually thinking about that video that I uploaded back in April last year. So that was April 2020. That was like a Roblox history video. I was talking about this hacker guy called XCNX and he did this XML exploit using Roblox t-shirts. However, he did this with real Roblox hats, like proper Roblox mesh files. Obviously, the guys that did it earlier today, they used a mesh file that wasn't even a Roblox file and that was like some among us like blender project or something anyway the video that i uploaded last year when i was covering xcnx i said something that aged really badly i said nobody would be able to do this in 2020 well it's already 2021 and now people are doing it again so was this exploit really not patched since 2009 people were able to do it back then and then people are starting to do it again now what the hell what is wrong with the roblox website that is actually crazy to think about an xml exploit that was working in 2009 still works on the roblox website in 2021 surely roblox would have patched this or maybe people have found another way to get it working honestly i don't know maybe this method will be revealed fairly soon but obviously not many people know about it I still can't remember if the XCNX guy was able to use these hacked t-shirts inside of games and they would like appear as real items. I can't remember. I think once he did because he managed to get the teapot turret working inside of games and he got the gear working. Like I said, 2009, that was a long time ago now, so I can't remember all the information about it. So there we have it, guys. That is pretty much it for this video. Even more hackers are figuring out how to get custom characters over on their Roblox profile. Last video, we weren't too sure how it worked. We weren't sure if it was a broken accessory or a broken shirt or a broken pants, but we can finally confirm that they are doing this via t-shirts. If you guys didn't see my previous video, go ahead and watch it, but that's pretty much it for this one so if you guys enjoyed as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one